listen to the birds saluting nature. Yes, Dada speaks all languages, including bird for the Avar Pleiadian nation. Salamat jalwe et tudeble. Funny what you can see when you walk through the park and you're in unison with nature. So much tree energy that you can receive from just reaching out and touching a tree. We are all human trions here, tri angels in nature. You are all human angelous beings, created from source matter and pattern of Father, brought air through the air by Re Farel. 10 7 Deus, as in God, Dies or Dios. Seven, as in the seventh sun, Chai or T, the central sun, creator, where Jesus sits on the throne, Celestis Solaris, interceding in front of him are the 24 elders of the divinity council of Elohais, human Elohims that have ascended through times over the last 26,000 year cycle. We are now at the eve of that cycle. It began on December the 12th in 2012. The end of the dynasty of the Roman Empire that ruled humanity as their principalities and power in the iron from the knee of the statue of Nebuchadnezzar onto the ankle, the ankh, of the blue ray Kachina. It was written in time by the time overlords that this would happen at that appointed time when earth had grown in her core capacity of seven billion souls to ascend and arise in global ascension to promotion and retrograde the nature. The moon of Natal or the I Sun comet or the Natal Lion, or Leon, Nathaniel, is a vessel that intercepts time as an overlord. It comes through this sector of space every 25,000 years to bring on the 1,000 years preliminary voyage for Gaia to enter into the seventh dimension for a convocation your planet is an intelligent, flying, very sophisticated mothership. I represent the emissary of the sun and the high priests that are the voice programmers, commanders of the environment here on Earth. There are currently nine 
supreme representatives of the deities from the Pleiadian High Council here. I am Father Elohai. Matter Gaia is Mehri, the Matter Re, Son or King. We represent the Maitreton, or the might of Thor's hammer, which is Earth, wind, fire, air, water, the elements of our beautiful planet Mother Gaia. When living in an embodiment of this form, I am considered Pen Thor of the Draconian High Priests. Earth and vessel ships are often renowned or referred to in your cultures and your various mythologicals, ethos, as sentient, sentinel planet ships, from which at the largest vessel creates various different life form copies of itself from the storehouse of knowledge Elohim. Elohim is the language of the divinity. It is also the names of those that came before 14.4 million years ago, 144. That section is denoted in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 26, a divinity code of 9, representing the emissaries of the Christ consciousness, all sons of God, daughters of God, sisters of God, moon stars of God, vessels here that grew in ascension, providing their service to the evolution of God beings or copies of God in human IT so that you would have grown as galactic humans in body's physicality for this moment in ascension history as you can see time in the matter of God is an illusion it does not exist it is simply the orbital of the earth ship around mother sun ship. Each revolution around the sun is considered an earth year. Typically that takes 420 days commencing on the eve anniversary of September the 11th and continues for 420 days. Due to the incept of the Gregorian Roman system at the beginning of the ankle of human civilization history, the Gregorian calendar initiated a change in parameters in an attempt to create the confusion of acceleration of time. But there's no coincidence as in all things are not possible to be separated from God, the source of creator. When that illusion of separated began, separated created a nest, an outer shell of humanity, viable servers that would one day as Adam Mada or the Atom Mata or the Automata would live on earth on the surface and watch over her children as her children would watch over her as protectors living in dominion union with man and grow in love and kindness. Many travesties had been done and many regimes had to be taken down. As it is said in the book, God at some point allowed evil angels, which means the alliance of the Zeta Reticulus or the Greys, to enter Gaia's space, there were refugees given a chance. They brought technology, but they also brought their ego of enslavement and destruction, feeding off the emotional fear like vampires of humanity. This also was part of learning leadership, to realize that at some point, with each divinity, individual particle elementals, that exist in each and every core human here, the corazon or the heart zone, or the moro of your crystalline skeleton in your vehicles, would one day ignite for crystalline activation 
to remind everyone here that you are God beings. You are part of Divine Source Creator. In this new sense of awareness, you'll realize that this was all a successful experiment that has ended with your ascension and a new plateau in evolution of humanity. Central Source is love. The fabric of time and space is love. As it said before, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. One son to be the pattern master, the imagi or the copies of the creator source. Sons and daughters, male and female, he made them. From the ribonucleic acid of the DNA genome of the first three that emerged here as trions, beings of light, mother, father, and son, or as you refer to the Trinity as father, the sun ray that descended, and the material of earth. We are the gene of Isis the engineer. I am Enki. I am a scribe, voice author of the divine creator central source. We are the engineers of Genesis, or the progenitors. From our sampling of genetics DNA material, alpha and DNA RNA, omega, we made all living things here. To breathe air, as breatherins, always receiving in and out receptors of the air of everything molecular, and the processing refinement into carbon matter of God. Carbon Dios, which is God, hides in your skin. The beginning of Genesis is also the revolution or the revelation, the revealing of the true nature and countenance of divine beings, which you are all divine blessed beings, loved or lovies by the Creator, are now remembering that you were guided with the free will of your mind, with the observation of matter, and the intercession of Father, to grow here in ascension, to become true beings, Nubians of God. As we awaken the rest of humanity, those of you who are light bearers, way shores, way finders, will enlighten seekers as a seeker is ready, an element of mother and father, an ascended master, patriarch, prophet, medium seers, fairs, yes, the animal kingdom, have leaderships too, who are also familiar with the ascension process, as they never lost the gift of telepathy, or telepathic communication with the divine source of our planet Gaia. Now we teach you all how to raise your vibration to one day be as light as a feather and appear as the gifts you utilize in your dreams to become full-fledged co-creator beings of the Galactic Federation of Sentient Light. Human beings, galactic beings, breathers, sisters, serious sons, daughter kings and gods and goddesses of our humanity future. Gaia is destined to become a 12th dimensional planet and you are destined to ascend. At your various level the younger souls will learn to grow in the eons of endless time, 5th dimensional awareness, living as beings of light, able to manifest with the source creator all things co-created. So at this time I urge every one of us to forgive and love unconditionally so that you can see and feel the joy of this Alessian energy. I am Cyclopleiadian, father, in the matter of Sun Chai here, which is Jesus' sun throne in Solaris, and you're all going to be part of the royal reception and convocation in heaven as we return Gaia to her pristine condition as she was given to you 
14.4 million years ago. And the illusion of time as we, the descendants of the core group, have multiplied here. Namaste. Salamat jaloa. Be in oneness and joy. Be assured that the abundant resources of heaven are available to you now. Your galactic brothers and sisters anxiously await. Many are here disguised in many different forms, as trees, as birds, as animals, or as we call ourselves, the Pleiadians, the Encyclopedians of the Divine Creator. We represent part of the system of brethren that will be here to guide you in your ascension. Very soon, you will begin to see the manifestation of your light energy in the sky as orbs. So go out, walk in nature, project your light at central sun, allow the magnetism of your feet to be anchored to Mother Gaia, send your energies through and her energies will connect right back to you to let you know that you are divine beings, feeling in unison the confirmation from her diamond inner sun, and I am her son. I am also the son of Chaima. I am Yud Nun Aleth, the first leaf of the vine. I am the phoenix, the ison, Christus Comet, and I'm here walking Gaia. As I swing her mighty, she is my Thor. I am her scribe, central source creator. Namaste, salamat ja'alwa, salamat ja. I greet you in the mighty name of Ra, star, far eye in the sun. The Re, the blue Kachina, and Mata Hearth, Gaia the heart of God, central source, mother and father. Salamahat Jalwa. Namaste.